Okay, this question has a couple of parts. First, we want to convert it to the Fisher projection and then assign a couple of RNS configurations. So you're forced into a template here, and I told you to put the CH2, CH3 on the bottom. Okay, now anytime we look at this to convert it to the Fisher projection, we want to look in the direction of the chiral center. So if the CH2, CH3 is at the bottom, we'll put the CH3 at the top. And then we want to view in the direction of the chiral center. So this first chiral center, I want to view from the bottom because that's the way my dash and wedge is pointing. And let's draw in the hydrogen, which is the dash, and it's implied. Now, because the CH2, CH3 is at the bottom, I want to put my viewer such that his head's near the top, feet are down near the bottom with the CH2, CH3. If you're laying that way, your left arm's going into the page, your right arm's coming out. So now we can align this such that the hydrogen's on the left, and then the CL is pointing in the same direction as your right arm, it's on the right. Now, when we go to the next chiral center, the next one up, now we need to come to the other side and look at it from this direction. Again, you want your feet down near the CH2, CH3, but if you're laying up on the top of the page like this, your right arm's going in, your left arm's coming out. Okay, so once again, let's draw in the implied hydrogen, which is on a wedge. And the hydrogen is in the direction of your left arm. They're both out, so we'll put the hydrogen on the left. And that makes the pH on the right. And then finally, when we come back to our last chiral center, we're back looking from the bottom side. So we can use our same viewer that we drew down here. Let's draw in the hydrogen, which is on a wedge. And the OH is a dash like our left arm. So the OH will be on the left, and the hydrogen, being a wedge like our right arm, will be on the right. So there's the Fisher projection. Now, to assign the RNS configuration, what I like to do is think, and I like to do it from the Fisher projection. So think about the H and the CL as wedges, because they are wedge groups by definition. And we'll do the same thing down here at our other chiral center that we want to assign. And then prioritize the four groups around that chiral center. So here's our chiral center. Here's our four groups. Prioritize them. The CL is priority one. The hydrogen is priority four. Those are easy. Now we have the CH3 and this carbon of the Fisher projection. Well, this carbon has a phenyl and another carbon attached, so this one gets priority over the three hydrogen. So that's two and three. All right, so now we can draw our curved arrow from one to two to three. It looks R, but by definition, priority four is out in a Fisher projection. So it's really the S configuration. Okay, now if we come down to our other chiral center, we can again prioritize the groups and you should prioritize the OH is one. This carbon of the Fisher projection is two. The ethyl is three. Hydrogen is four. In this case, if we draw in our curved arrow from one to two to three, it looks R, but again, because priority four is out, it's actually S.